ball, turns around and shoots and scores. Hush not child. As a collegian, Gilmore led Jacksonville University to the 1970 national title game and his 22.7 rebounds per game remain an NCAA career record. First, the big question here is, uh, why did you choose the uh, ABA over NBA? Well, I like the colors of the basketball. Just move on up. Gilmore not only won Rookie of the Year honors, he also was named the ABA's most valuable player. He certainly was our ABA's Will Chamberlain. Oh, they're going to Gilmore. you got to deny him that ball if you can, because look what he's doing. Known for his consistency, he still holds the NBA record for career field goal percentage. Gilmore rebounds his miss, and that's an easy one for Arden. Though there may be wet road ahead, and you cannot slip, just move on. When somebody asks you to name the most dominant big men in basketball history, it's rare that somebody ends up saying Artis Gilmore in that first couple of names. You think Shaq, you think Wilt, you think David Robinson, you think Hakeem, but you don't really think Artis. And I think it's fair to say that I'm somebody that knows a good amount of basketball history, but it took me actually looking up how good he was, looking up his career statistics and looking up the effect that he had on the ABA to realize how prominent and dominant of a player he really was. Not to mention the fact that an MVP card is only about 5,000 MT, you can't argue that for a 94 overall amethyst center and now here is why that you want this guy he is 72 if you saw in the beginning of the video his vertical is 72 which is on par with about i think near anthony davis his strength is in the 90s his defensive stats are 88 plus he has a 79 mid-range and his box out is a 95 and boom goes the dynamite and by the way this is just me casually showing you that that rewards amethyst wade free one is actually really fucking good he can actually score he finishes some absurd shit from time to time give him the spin oh and if you give my mid-range room, I actually hit mid-ranges pretty consistently. And the previous key stats that I had mentioned, people are still under misconception that this is 2k15 and it just matters if you're tall and you get rebounds. When actually the best stats that dictate rebounding this year are vertical and box out. You'll notice this in one specific play later down in this video. And as for artists, being big this year more dictates how well you're going to score on plays like this. Those standing up and unders or those standing contested layups, the taller you are, the better you finish those. Especially if you give your big man acrobat and relentless finisher. Acrobat especially, I don't know if you guys don't notice yet but acrobat actually helps big men to finish layups and artists didn't even have any of that in this game if you guys didn't notice this is not a game against the computer i am playing an actual friendly in this game and artist is actually fucking killing this guy not to mention derrick rose pull back oh don't do him like that derrick to be completely honest with you almost every single one of those amethyst mvps are a hidden gem i watch this play specifically when i give it to artist and then step into the free throw mid-range he has to actually step up on guard that that's why the 79 mid-range and boom goes the dynamite makes such a difference because when I step in, he is forced to guard that. At 79, if I do good form, that is going in. So the fact that he has to step up to guard that just makes him that more versatile. Arch is not here to get big numbers and fucking bit of go-to of your team. He's just going to do those intangible things that are going to help you win. Finish layups on the break, get some blocks, get some rebounds, and get some assists because you have to actually pay attention to him offensively. Just to be fair, like you have to keep the defense honest. That's the saying. Keep the defense honest. And look at that. Going into halftime, Artis is giving the boy to work. Big arty. And on top of everything that I had just mention Artis is also going to lock up his opposition because the man is 7-2 and he has a 7-2 vertical like who is who is realistically going to consistently score on him his shot contest is only a 73 I believe it was and that was the thing that had bothered me the most when first seeing his card but he's tall as shit and his vertical is high he is going to get blocks and perfectly on cue this is the clip that I was talking about watch him soar for this fucking rebound over the rim and everything the throw was just touching the tip of the rim and one bitch that's what big Artie does he leads to and one's boy and then just for icing on the cake his speed is up there i believe it's like 69 giggity so you will be able to blow by Derp. some of these slower bigs and get that easy driving layup or two for some extra points he's just big yo what more can i say and for 5000 mt you're getting somebody that can do the intangibles that your team need if you don't go to your center a lot offensively and on top of that lock up the opposition there's not much more you can ask for like seriously and with all of that being said big Artie makes this boy quit back the he quits so he the man quits so fast he didn't even see the pause screen you just saw opponent has left the match thank you very much come again artist gilmore hidden gem rarely do i play friendlies for hidden gems but i'm going to start doing them more often
and just to prove my point now yeah that is about it for those of you wondering yes there is going to be a goat mirror return video sorry if the video is coming a little bit slower a month left in the semester finals coming up blah blah rare, rare, you know it goes and um yeah 